Alright guys, so if you're following along then you know that I am in the middle of doing the two majorly hyped skincare brands at the moment. I just wrapped up Sunday Riley and I'm now moving on to the brand Drunk Elephant. Now, my face looks really really rough right now and I'm not holding it against Sunday Riley yet because I believe that I'm purging, pretty badly purging, from their CEO products. Uh, if you're interested in the difference between purging and a product causing you breakouts, I will link that video below. Definitely check that one out. Uh, so right now, I'm not holding those expensive products against them. Um, if everything goes as planned in this particular trial, then I should come back to you guys in two weeks with pretty clear skin. So that's what I'm hoping for. I will tell you guys the products that I'm going to use. I go into this pretty blindly, so I don't currently know a whole lot about these, but by the time I come back to you guys for the reviews, I will. Uh, so I did buy these products. The first one is the Rise and Glow Set. So in this, I will be testing out the C Firma Day Serum, as well as the Hydra Intensive Hydration Gel. So the deal is, this being another vitamin C product, this should continue the process of my skin getting used to vitamin C, which is why I believe, I believe and I hope, that I should come back to you guys with clear skin. And then I also have the Night Bright set, and this one contains the TLC Framboose Glycolic Night Serum, as well as the Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil, so I'm excited about trying those guys. And then I also have a smaller size of the Lala Retro Whipped Cream, which is just Drunk Elephant's basic moisturizer, from what I understand. And then finally, I did get the full size of the Lippy um, Avocado Seed Oil Lip Balm thing. You guys know I'm a big fan of lip balms, always looking for the best thing out there, and I figured I would give Drunk Elephant's a shot. So yes, my skin looks rough. Again, if everything goes well, I should come back to you guys with some much better looking skin. So I'll see you guys in two weeks. Alright guys, I'm back. It's been two weeks. I feel like you already know from looking at me that I'm about to sing the praises of this brand. And this is exactly why I like to do a before and after phase so you can really get a chance to see what the products have done on my skin. And yes, just to let you know, this did go very, very well for me. So well, in fact, that I've already purchased a full-size product from this line. So spoiler alert, I liked everything from this line. I liked some products more than others, yes, but I was not unhappy with any of the products I tried. So I think what I'm going to do in this video is to take you through a daily routine that I've been doing for the past two weeks, tell you a little bit about these products, also tell you what else I used in addition to these products because this wasn't quite enough, obviously, for a complete skincare routine. Uh, and then at the end, I'm going to talk to you about a comparison between Sunday Riley, um, the, C the CEO product from Sunday Riley, and the C Firma from Drunk Elephant. I'm saving that for last, even though it's kind of an early on step in my routine, the Drunk Elephant version. I'm saving it because I, I, I want to do honest and fair videos, and I feel that even though Sunday Riley didn't in general work out for me, I do feel it's important for me to emphasize the comparison and contrast capacity of those two products. Okay, so I'll start by telling you guys that for the past two weeks I have been continuing to use the Clarisonic and the Ferreo with a variety of cleansers. I put up a video a couple of days ago talking about the comparison of those products. I do think that those help me to get a deeper clean to help prevent more acne breakouts from happening. Following that, I would cleanse, I would tone, and then I would use the C Firma Day Serum during the day. I'm gonna come back to this product for reviews. And then I followed that with either the B Hydra Intensive Gel or the Lala Retro Whipped Cream. So for the duration of the challenge, I use the B Hydra Intensive Hydration Gel every single day, so I'm going to spend the most time talking about this. This is an excellent product for oily skin types or for clogged pores. This is a very lightweight in texture gel moisturizer. It does not contain any silicone, so if you have any irritation from silicones, this is the gel that I would recommend for you. Uh, it is. It does have a hyaluronic acid in it, which is fantastic for plumping out lines. It does have enzymes in it. I will say that it's probably not the best product ever for people with dry skin because it's just not hydrating enough, but I have another product to recommend for you anyway. This is a solid one for drier skin. Like I did say, this is the only product I was able to use for two weeks. 
and you can see for me as a drier skin type I got a little bit more dry on my forehead which is what happens if I don't use a heavy enough moisturizer but that said I definitely think this was very helpful in getting me to finally be clear these are no longer active acne I've, everything on my face right now is scarring and I'll talk more about that too um, but at this point I don't have any active acne and that is such a nice relief now as a drier skin type I really liked the Lala retro whipped cream my only criticism with this product has to do with the sample size I got this sample from Sephora and as you can see it is not in an airtight container this is supposed to be from what I've read as well as from the title of this product this should be a light fluffy whipped texture Mine was not. Mine was in a tight little dense ball and I used it up very, very quickly. Uh, what I believe was going on is this product contains a lot of enzymes. Enzymes do break down on themselves and I think that the air escaped and the product entirely clumped together. But the good news is the product as it comes from Drunk Elephant comes in an airtight container with a push down top that distributes the exact amount you need so you don't need to have that concern. From my limited experience with this product, I did like it a lot. It is um, very, very hydrating, excellent for dry skin, very heavy, no fragrance whatsoever. What's nice about this is this can also be an eye cream because of how thick it is. I, I did run out of this, so I could benefit from an eye cream right now, uh, but this can double as a moisturizer and an eye cream and it's really nice to see a line actually acknowledge that. I've said in many of my other videos that I really don't understand why we sell those as separate products when one product can do it all, and that's what this product does. Now for my night routine, I would start with the TLC Framboose Glycolic Night Serum, which obviously for me buying a full size, I adore this serum. This contains glycolic, lactic, and salicylic acid, as well as antioxidants, as well as anti-irritants. Uh, it has 12% glycolic acid, which is excellent for sun damage, dryness, and anti-aging. Uh, and then 1% salicylic acid, which is to help those products to penetrate deep into your pores. What I noticed about this product that made it stand out from everything else I've been using in skincare. This side of my face, when I started this challenge, had some pretty visible scarring. And this side of my face had active acne. Now, I did not use this on my active acne. That'd be too painful. This does have a little bit of a stinging effect to it. So instead, what I was doing is using this over here and using ac acne treatments over here. Now, you can see how faded those acne scars are, which is how one week into this trial, I bought this full-size product. I intend to use this continuously over here and fade out these scars because acne scarring is really frustrating. It's really frustrating and nobody likes it. Um, but what this did for me was this impressive. This is $90. $90 that to me is absolutely worth it. For this type of a difference, yes, please. Now it's worth mentioning that I did alternate that with my Peter Thomas Roth Retinol Fusion PM. I absolutely love this for both preventing acne and um, helping to, to deal with anti-aging as well. So I alternated that. Uh, Oops, grabbed the wrong product. I would use this one night and then this the following night. I did ditch the Ordinary's Advanced Retinoid. I don't feel like it's as effective as that. Just want to put that out there. I know I'm putting it in a Drunk Elephant video, but I do want to mention that. Now, following the serum, I would use the Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. I'm a little on the fence about this particular product, but that's not to say I don't like it. I do like it. I do want to mention that it's $72 for the full size, and I do want to mention that I don't think it is the most hydrating oil I've ever used in my life. Let me go over what it is first. Uh, so this is for dry skin. It contains a high amount of fatty acids, including vitamin E. It is supposed to deal with hyperpigmentation. It is supposed to be lightweight, and it is non-comedogenic. Now. I didn't find this to be all that lightweight, but I've found that with every oil that I've ever applied to my skin, including dry oils. They call them dry oils. They say they'll sink into your skin. However, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but I washed my hair last night and I used this product and I still feel like it got into my hair. And this is something that I do want to address because from what I've observed, it seems that most drier skin types also have thin and fine hair that will easily show oil 
And that's exactly my situation. I have to be really careful with using oils at night if I don't plan to wash my hair every single day, which I don't like to do. Now, I enjoyed the product. I did think that it was overall helpful in helping me to not have any further breakouts, which is something that you can definitely have with some of the heavy night creams on the market. So I do think it's a good option for people who are dealing with hormonal acne or combination skin. I do like it. I know that there are other marula oils on the market that are significantly less expensive than the $72 that this is. However, I do really like what Drunk Elephant does. I like their ethics. This is supposed to be a luxury product. For a luxury product, I think it could look a tad bit more luxury, but that's just me nitpicking. Really, it comes down to, do you want to spend $72 on this particular oil? And I'm just on the fence. I'm not sure it did enough for me. I found a couple of cons in it. I really hope I'm still saying that I liked it. I'm just not sure that I liked it enough personally to purchase it. It's a solid oil. It is an oil, though. And I would kind of like to use as a night treatment something that has a little bit of hyaluronic acid, prevent me from having these, these dry lines appear. Something with a little tiny bit more. But if you're in the middle of an active breakout, you can put this on and not have to worry about it. So yes, this, this, one, this one has a lot of pros and cons for me. And I'm kind of on the fence with where I stand. But I still, I stand by, I like it. And then one more product to talk about before I get into the vitamin C is the Lippy. This is a very odd product. Please don't mind the burn on my lip. I have skill when drinking hot items. Um, I liked this. I liked it. A lot of people don't like the shape of this. It's very large. But the point of it being large is that it's supposed to apply just outside of your lips, if you can see that, as I talk while I apply it. Um, this, when I bought it, was $22. They've dropped the price of this down to $19. It's still the same amount as the Caudalie Lip Conditioner, which is $12, and which honestly feels pretty much the same. Again, I really do like it. I don't know if I love the principle behind it of forcing you to put it outside of your lips. I get it. I get that you would want to make sure that this area is hydrated, but it's not going to be the best for under makeup because of that. Uh... Supposedly, you can also use this on your eye area. I kind of wish that I had looked this up sooner so I could have tried that out a little more. Um, but it's going to have a heavy, oily type of appearance, if you can see that. And also, I don't really know if I love the idea of switching from a lip to an eye product. This one is also in the, in the same vein as the Marula Oil. I, I like it. I like it. I, I can't say I'm going to buy it again, though. I'm probably not. It's a little bit pricey. It's a little bit awkward. But it's formulated well. I gotta say, it's formulated well. Alright, let's chat about the Drunk Elephant bestseller, the Sea Firma Day Serum. Now, I did really enjoy this product. I have not committed to buying the full size just yet. But let me take a moment to tell you guys about it. I have a lot of notes here. This is a 15% ascorbic acid vitamin C serum. It also contains turmeric. It also contains um, ferulic to boost free radical defense of the vitamin C and also to stabilize it. It contains pumpkin enzymes, hyaluronic acid, marula oil. It is for all day lasting effects and it smooths and helps to uh, improve skin texture. That is a lot. Now what I wanna say about the C Firma is in terms of comparing it to the Sunday Riley CEO. Now, if you watched my Sunday Riley video, I really was less than impressed with the CEO from Sunday Riley. However, this contains the version of vitamin C that is the most stable, which is the tetrahexyl decyl ascorbate, whereas C firma contains ascorbic acid. Now, here's the deal. Yes, this is going to be a more stable version of vitamin C, this is less stable, but, but, it is packaged very, very well. Now, obviously you wanna use this up quickly. That's, that should be a principle that everybody follows with skincare. This is not the type of product that you buy to keep around to look at the packaging. If you buy this, I recommend using it up in one to three months, which really should not be an issue. As a, as a one ounce size, you should be able to use it up in less than three months. Now, the problem, the problem with the Sunday Riley CEO is that with that version, 
you don't really know how much you're getting into your skin. Ascorbic acid is very, very well studied. We know that at the 15% version, you're getting about 15%. This more stable form might be, almost think of it as too stable. Question being, how much is your skin absorbing? So what this will come down to is that this is the more active form of vitamin C, and this is the more stable form. So really, it does come down to a bit of personal preference. However, as I mentioned in my review of the CEO, I just didn't feel like this contains enough extra additional ingredients to it. And like I just said about this product, this has everything. This has everything you need in it. Now, worth mentioning, I know I gave this a really harsh review, but I did recognize back then that vitamin C does cause purging, and I think that's a lot of what was going on when I started this video. This had caused purging, but because I continued to use a vitamin C product, that being the C Firma, I am no longer purging at all, which is exactly what you should expect. It should stop at between four to six weeks. For me, it was about three and a half weeks. I have not had any new acne surface since, and that is um, continuous with what you would expect vitamin C to do. So while I don't love the formulation from this, I don't want anybody to think that this caused me to have acne. Bottom line here being that vitamin C can be kind of tricky. It will cause you to purge no matter which one of these or any other vitamin C on the market that you choose to use. Vitamin C is a tricky but beneficial ingredient. And also worth mentioning, there is a reservoir effect anytime you use a vitamin C serum. You actually get the peak amount of the product in your skin after three days of continuous use, which I think is something worth mentioning. This is, it's just not your typical topical silicone these products do a lot for your skin and for me personally i'm going to continue to explore vitamin c serums on the market especially since i finally got through the purging phase i really am highly impressed with what vitamin c has done for my skin i like it i think that it's something that having used it i can see many people benefiting from use use of this type of product and if you're at all concerned about breaking out from it, I definitely want to direct you to my purging video, my purging versus breakouts video. I know I'm throwing that one around a lot, but I feel like that is such an important thing to know. Just because you start a vitamin C product does not mean that it causes acne, it causes purging. If you get through it, you can end up with clear skin. I promise. All right, guys, so that is my review of the Drunk Elephant brand. I mean, I don't need to say anything more. You guys already know I'm very impressed with it. I think these products are very, very well formulated. I think that regardless of whether you have dry skin or oily skin, you can find products that will work for you in this line. And I think that if you have acne scarring or hyperpigmentation, wow, their serums are absolutely worth checking out. I just, I don't see any, I don't see any cons to the serums whatsoever. They're fantastic. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give this video a like, hit subscribe, and thanks so much for watching. Peace out, YouTube.